Hello! So today I'm going to talk about endocrine disruptors. Alright. This is a group of chemicals, a group of contaminants that interferes with our hormones in the body. Well, there are lots of contaminants uh, in the body, in the world, outside, in the air, in the house. So I have Hashimoto's disease, which I had, thank God. Hashimoto's disease and I looked a bit into this issue of endocrine disruptors. So you'll find endocrine disruptors in the household for example. You'll find it in this one called triclosan, very common. It's in creams, soaps, it's in the toothpaste. You'll find another one called phthalates, again it's in the hairspray, it's in the gels, it's in the shampoos, you have parabens, they are in the oils, they are in the deodorants, deodorants, they are all over. Right, there are just so many endocrine disruptors, there are at least 800. So many, because at one time I thought, why am I so sick? And when I check there are all these contaminants, you have to think, yes. Well, I'm so sick and sometimes seeming to get worse and worse instead of better and better. So in the house, for example, again, the textiles, the curtains, the carpets, they can have flame retardants. I thought, why would you have flame retardants in here? It's, we need to put up the fire when there is a fire. But the manufacturing is like that. People want to sell, people want to be more attractive, people want to be able to sell and something like a carpet with a flimsy reason like that and it gets old precisely for that so it's a crazy world we are in so also in the kitchen again you have for example all the food we eat the herbicides pesticides in our food additives coloring a lot of things you don't need no wonder people keep saying, and the doctors, nutritionists keep saying, don't buy a lot of those pre-done foods, prepared foods, do natural foods, try um, naturally cultivated foods, in fact. Okay? So you have a lot of these things. Then there's the cleaning uh, materials. Again, they have triclosan, you will have parabens. Alright, you have our perfumes, things that we apply on the body. So just in the house alone you find that there are lots of chemicals and it's extremely important to move towards using healthier and healthier more and more natural substances. It's of course especially important when one is thinking of having a baby when you think you're going to have a baby. You don't want to still be putting in all these chemicals well the solution is that also if you have been using so many of the chemicals then you can use a good detox you can use a good detox which can make life much easier for you myself this one detox vertera gel actually really changed my life you know it had has a lot of iodine it's a detox it boosts your immunity. It does a lot for you. It removes even heavy metals. We have a lot of heavy metals in our bodies. We have lead, mercury, aluminium. You wouldn't think so, but it's there. So uh, the comfort is that uh, if you are lucky enough to come across a good detox for your body, it's important to use it, not just because you'll have a baby, just because of your own health. A lot of men, for example, then have terrible sperm count. Terrible, terrible sp sperm count, so they can't be fathers. You need to know of good detoxes and use them actively. So myself, I think, you know, I've been sick for a long time, so when I use the detox, even my face clear, I look so good. It, I remember in September here from holiday, I see my friend and she's like, where did you go on holiday? You look so good. So even once you detox, it is very evident. It, you can just see it, you know, and you think, okay, there. You know, 
I would say that even a good detox then is the number one thing for beauty because why would you want to apply nice things while your body is full of uh, toxins, is contaminated with metals and the rest of it. You first want to clean out your body, all right? The detox is also good, of course, for losing weight. Because before you lose weight, actually, I normally say before you lose weight, you need to detox very well. You need also to feed your body to have satiety. You need to just be healthy. Before you start now thinking of doing exercises to lose weight, you should first make sure that your body is clean enough. You know, because the obesity, the ap epidemic of obesity that's there in the world today, it's not just because of food. It's not just because of what we eat, it's because of so many other factors. Chemicals that come in and just clog the body and just make the body go crazy and the body can't function right. Alright, because really people are getting, there's so many obese people then people are getting sicker and sicker all the time. It's not because of anything else. It's the contaminants we have to deal with every single day. Well, and if you are someone who has uh, autoimmune problems like me, then you feel it even more. You know, things like asthma, things like allergy to just so many different things, skin allergy, allergy to metals, allergy to so many things to this, the cleaning products, as soon as I inhale some or feel some, I can get a cold within just one day. So, some of us, I think, uh, become barometers to show that actually there's a lot more sickness than we think. So, get yourself a detox, please uh, click the link down, get the detox, use it for yourself, and be on a sure path to better health. We deserve to be healthy.